Um, well, f congratulations on the film. Enjoyed it. Good, exciting thriller. Tell me about Mark. No, that wasn't generic. That was me. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was me being individual. I have a horrible cold, though. I oh, I'm so sorry. Can't you hear it? Mm -hmm. um, your character and Mark's character are basically brothers in the film. They're his closest brothers. Tell me about um, you working on that relationship with Mark and forging that relationship on screen. Uh, very easy. Uh, you, you've talked with Mark before. Yeah. I mean, he's he's uh, incredibly down to earth. Uh, I've been a fan of his for a long time. Uh, we felt that it was important that this bond was uh, a staple in the film, that you felt a great amount of history between them. And sometimes you got to work harder at that than others with actors. But with Mark, uh, that was very easy. He, uh, he immediately felt uh, familial. Do you feel like you have to sort of hang out offset, or is it just something you can bring to the, the set on the day? We actually wanted to hang out, which is odd. You know? It's good. It's great, yeah. Hanging out with him was was a blast. We were down in New Orleans and uh, uh, didn't talk a whole lot about acting or the film business. We just hung out as pals, and that was was great. I kind of felt I don't know. I felt bad for your character. I mean, I I felt like he didn't really mean to do anything. Do you, uh, you know? Great. Do, was that that just me, or were you trying to bring so some pathos to him, even though he was kind of the bad guy? Well, it's it's so difficult in film, where, or anywhere for that matter, where we label as good or bad or uh, evil or uh, an angel. Um, he, uh, he's a person, and he's trying to do the best that he possibly can, and, and he just doesn't have the facilities to, to live up to a... to live up to the friendship and the gifts that he has in his life. And Mark... Chris, the character, entrusts his family to you, um, yet Briggs is this really menacing threat. Why is he such a threat? What? Why is Briggs such yeah. a... Well, I mean, you saw the picture. I mean, he's Giovanni uh, tearing up the world. Uh, I wouldn't want to be on that guy's bad side. Tell me about what the elements that make up a great thriller, because I think this is a very tense, exciting thriller, and the director did a great job. What do you think are the elements that make something really... Thrilling. I, I don't know how to answer that. Um, it's it, it has so much to do with the team that comes together. It has so much to do with what's on the set, the stew of bringing in uh, actors and collaborating with the director to to build something. And um, hopefully, we made something that doesn't um, feel tired. Generic. Generic. <laughs> what about New Orleans? Maybe that's part of it as well, is that you shot on location, and that's very clear watching the film. What does that add, and what was it like for you shooting in the city? Yeah, you, you do draw from the environment that, that you're working in. I mean, if you're working in a, a sound stage that has, a, that has one kind of frequency, in New Orleans, uh, it's palpable. When you land, you feel that you're in New Orleans. So uh, I, I believe that, that uh, it, it, uh, it added uh, some energy to, to the shoot. Mm. Great, thanks. Cool, thank you. I thought the, uh, not a scene you, you weren't in, but the, the shootout the, in the pan, you know, the car, the trucks. Oh. I thought that was a really good scene. Cool. Did you see it? No. It's really good. All right. A lot of people dying, but it looked very real to well, me. As long as they're dying, cool. Yeah, it was cool. All right, thanks. All right, feel better. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Yeah.